Welcome back everybody to some more MXGP2 here on this channel. This is KPG Guna here and this is part number three of our stadium series that we started here on this channel. Now in today's episode we're in the Diamond Stadium 1. Now this circuit looks really really challenging. I've seen a few videos of a few other people that have done this uh, circuit on YouTube and they've really really struggled around it. So this is going to be a tough qualified and tough into the championship races today. Now um, I'm going to try my best. We're not doing too bad in the championship so far. We haven't won every single race but we are competing so hopefully we should do uh, okay so we're going to get into qualifying and try and get a good time around the circuit so here we go seriously guys uh this one's a very very tough we're in the last eight minutes of uh qualifying and we haven't managed to put a time in i've been crashed off so many times it's 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 ridiculous uh, I, I'm struggling to stay on the bikes as well, but I'm trying to uh, take the advice that I've been given by quite a few of you guys to try and use the outside of the uh, circuits um, in the stadium series to get more momentum, and that's how it goes. It's all about momentum, so thanks for those tips because it has helped me quite a lot in uh, previous races. So I'm going to try and stick to the sides as much as I can in these races, but um, it's not it's not easy when you've got other riders on the bike. You can't always take the outside line, and uh, I do tend to go off circuit a bit and crash off. So uh, I'm going to try my best, but I haven't managed to put a clean lap in. So we might be ending up starting in um, in 22nd. But uh, I will try and get to the end of this lap. This is one of the shortest ones of the tour so far. Uh, 57 seconds is the time put in at the moment, and we managed to put in a time good enough for 10th so that's an improvement that's our first clean lap we may go another lap now see if we can do it slightly quicker but just kicks out there i've, I've um tried to adjust the uh Hasquana, uh, bike quite a lot uh, but i haven't managed uh, to get the perfect setting it's just getting it set up i mean i've got it on the low gear ratio that's what um, i've been like i've been told by other people oh god oh damn off i go again uh do you know what guys i'm gonna take 10th uh it's just it's just so challenging that circuit so we've got two uh, races in today's episode and uh, it looks like febra is going to take uh first spot yes he is kyroli in second oh god 11th we're going to need an absolutely blinding start and just hope we can stay on the bike i think i'm going to crash a few times in today's races but i'm going to try my best so let's get straight into it now here we go right so here we go with race one this is going to be so so tough we need to get a brilliant start that is the key in both races if we can get into that first corner and hopefully get round into those first tough corners without any other bikes behind we might stand a chance but let's see if we can dump it oh no i dumped it a little bit too late but can we just fight in because we're in the 11th and we get around the first corner someone touched my wheel but i just managed to get around it we didn't get the whole shot who's leading yes febra he was the fastest in qualifying and he's gone into lead but i managed to get up the inside of him now i've just got to stick with him if i can i want to get a gap between the massive group behind me as well because going into those uh, slow corners if you don't take the outside you're going to get knocked off and look they're all coming down i think that's kai Riley behind me god dear this is going to be tough take the outside try and get a bit of momentum oh yeah that was brilliant there that makes a difference but uh I think that's uh, Nagel, that's just behind me. He's going to try and get up the inside. Oh, God, I'm really close, close to me there to my back wheel, but I just managed to get round there. And again, that was a good momentum going through there. Let's try and do that again. Just trying to stick with Febra, but he's got such a decent pace through it. I think he's, uh, his lap times, he was hitting about 57 seconds. I only was hitting 58 something, so I was over a second slower than he was. And again, almost got knocked off. Oh my God, that was so close. So many bites behind me. I cannot make a single mistake. But again, trying to just take the outside line so I don't get knocked off. And that's lap one done. Now we're on to lap two. Can I get up, close that gap down? Looking at the time uh, below me. Oh, it's just over a second. That's not uh, massive. Not on a circuit like this. Hopefully he may makes mistake the ai was making quite a few mistakes in qualifying they were crashing just as much as i was so hopefully he might crash off and i can take that first spot i want to get a decent result in one of these races i mean but second wouldn't be the end of the world considering we only had 11 um, from the start and uh, we've managed to get into second if we can just hold this it would be amazing but again going on the outside and again i think that was kairoli or someone behind me god dear that was so close he almost had me on the back wheel Oh my god, this is going to be so tough going into that final lap. And I just mucked it up there. The back end kicked out. I'm making a few little errors. But got a good landing there. That was really good. Right, take the outside again. Try and get a bit of momentum. We might be able to get him going into that final lap. Again, that was a good jump. If you can get the jumps right, you, you get the re really good speed through those sections. And uh, I think he's, he's made that gap slightly bigger. 
I don't think I'm going to catch him unless he makes a mistake. He's doing really, really, really well. But um, I was expecting him to at least win one of these races. Uh, but uh, let's just see if we can just carry on. And uh, two seconds now the gap is. And uh, we've got uh, what, just over a second gap from behind. But God, oh dear, God, oh dear, see how close that was. That was almost game over for me there. The back wheel almost got taken. That happened so many times in qualifying. Now we're going into the final section of this uh, third lap. Can I just hold on? Second would be an amazing result considering I struggled in qualifying. I'd be really, really happy with that. Let's just try and stick with it. Going into these final corners. Can we get into that one? Yes. No one was behind me there. And I think we may do this. If we can just keep control of the bike. God, it was really losing a bit of control through those jumps there. Right. Final corner. Can we take second? But Febber wins it. Yes, we take second. That wasn't a bad result, guys. But, uh, yeah, that is what I've got to do in the next race. Three laps without crashing on that circuit is is uh, good enough for me right let's go into the second race and i think it might be another head-to-head -head with febra so here we go right guys here we go with race two let's see if we can go one better and really really put febra under a bit more pressure because once he got away i couldn't keep up with him but we need to get around this first corner and get a good start if we can let's see if we can get a good start Oh, that wasn't... Oh, it was slightly better. I managed to get away. Let's try and get around the corner. Oh, God, that was... He sent me wide. And again, Febra took the whole shot. And Kai Rowan is coming around the outside. I'm just trying to block him off there. And we just managed to block him off. So Febra's taking an early lead here, like he did in the first race. Now he's going to fucking bomb away. Oh, my God. This is so challenging. Let's just try and stay on the outside. I can see Kai Rowley going on the inside. And I don't want to get knocked off. But can I get up the inside of him there? I've got two bites snuggling up my back wheel. Oh, my God. Kai Rowley just made contact with me there. I don't want him to knock me off. Otherwise, I'd never catch him. He landed on the back of my bike there. Going around the outside. And again, we made contact. Oh, my God. I'm having a right battle here in third, in third place here. Oh, my God. There was twice that I could have got knocked off. But I've just managed to fight that off. And again, we make contact. Kai Rowley's really causing me problems in this race. Let's just try and go around the outside and get a bit of momentum and get past him. No, he's pulled away. So I've dropped back. I've stayed in third place. But now I've got uh, Paul in behind me now causing me problems. Oh, God. This first lap has been an absolute nightmare. But I'm going to try and stick with it. I'm, I'm going to try and push this bike a little bit more. I really want to win this one if I can. And that was a really, really, really dangerous move. But we get up the inside of Kai Rowley there. But he sent me out wide. But again, we're trying to get a bit more momentum. And just trying to do those whips through there is so, so challenging. You've only got a short space to try and do it and bring it down. But let's just try and stick with it. And um, Kai Rowley's going to go on the outside. I go on the inside and I manage just to skid up the inside. So I'm back into P2. I want to get another second place if I can. I don't think I'm going to catch up with February. He's really, really, really bossing this championship around D Diamond Stadium 1. But uh, if we can just try and stay with him, hopefully we can just settle and get a second place. But, uh, oh, my wait a minute. He's, oh, I thought I'd got in there. Let's try and get up the inside of him. No, nope. oh, God, just mucked up on that jump and he's managed to pull away. You make one mistake on those jumps and you lose so much speed. Right, let's try and go on the outside and get a bit more momentum going through here. Come on, can we go to the final lap and try and get him on the final lap? We need to get a bit closer, though. Let's try and get a nice bit of speed through there. And we're only a second behind, so we're closer to him in this race than we were in the first race. Oh, God, it really kicked out. That's going to cost me some time. And I've got Kai Rowley just jumped past me, but he went wide. Oh, my God, Febra's come off. Febra's crashed out, and I've managed to take a lead. But now Kai Rowley's seen a chance to go in first place. I need to fight him off. So it's between me and Kai Rowley to the end of this race now. Febra's lost his chance, and I think he's just behind. But he made that massive mistake. He jumped really wide on that, on that corner and went off circuit. And I've taken the lead. Can I hold on to this? There's only half a second to go, but Kai Rowley's going to go up the inside he's going to try and take the lead i need to get a really good momentum through there and i've taken the lead again this is going to be so challenging to go through the last sections of this race oh my god i haven't been this excited about winning a race for ages because this has been a, such a tough qualifying and race to, in today's episode and i was nowhere near the time and i managed to skid around there i thought it was going to come off going around the last bend i only need one more bend and i've won this won this race in the second race oh, i'm gonna do it yes i've done it i've won the second race in the St diamond stadium that was unreal Oh my God, guys, I got really excited at the end in there. I couldn't believe I won that. That was unbelievable. But when you stick with a leader, you've got to take your chances when they make mistakes. So I'm leaving the championship, going into the final round of the stadium series. But now we're going to get into uh, another series that's going to start up alongside the MX1 championship. We're getting to that now. So here we go. 
Right, everybody, it's down to you to start voting. Now, we're going to start a new series. There is this Monster Energy FIM MXON. Now, this is a championship where you compete in teams of uh, the country. So, you select a nation, and uh, this is going to be a race's uh, five laps. It's going to be on pro, pro physics and realistic. You guys have got to choose what team and rider I'm going to use for this uh, series. This is going to be running alongside the MX1 Championship. And we may do another stadium series if you want to see some more of that. Because at the moment, I'm absolutely loving the stadium series. It's absolutely brilliant. And uh, there's a few bikes you guys wanted me to try out that didn't get voted for the MX1 season. So get your votes in now. And once they're all in, after a few days, we will start this one alongside as well. So thank you so much for watching. And I've left you a full replay here. For you to watch as well thank you so much for watching and bye bye